In this tutorial, we will cover introduction to Ajax. Ajax is asynchronous JavaScript and XML. Ajax is used to transform traditional web application into responsive web applications, which has several benefits. As Ajax comes with benefits, it also has its own challenges. The first challenge is the programming complexity. To write an Ajax program, we need to integrate JavaScript, then create an Ajax object, write function expression in JavaScript, and then handle the data. We also have network concerns as well as user experience. Designing a web page in Ajax should also be considered as a challenge. Let us see how traditional web application works. We have a client in a server. Client sends the request, server responds back with the full page. The client may again send a request and server responds back with the complete HTML. A full refresh of the page has to be performed. A request again may be sent by a client and client waits for the server to respond back. Once the response is received, again the full web page has to be refreshed. This is a typical scenario of a traditional web application without using Ajax. The traditional web applications are simple to implement which does not require any programming complexity. But traditional web applications are very slow. The traditional web applications retransmit data again and again as a request and response to present a complete web page. The complete web page has to be loaded again and again based upon the response received. In Ajax web application, a client sends a request and the response is sent back to the client where full page has to be loaded. Client sends the request again. When server responds back, only partial page is refreshed. Client may again send the request, server may again respond back with the partial page refresh. In Ajax web application, user action triggers behind the scene communication. The server fetches just the data needed to update the page. Server doesn't respond back with the complete HTML code for the web page. This process happens asynchronously. Only the relevant portion of the web page is refreshed in the browser. To implement Ajax, we need to use JavaScript to invoke communication with the server. We also need to use XML HTTP request object. The server side programs generate response in XML. Server may be running PHP, servlet or any other server side program. Apart from XML, the server side programs may also generate server response in various formats such as text, HTML tags or JSON. The content of received response is then handled using JavaScript with DOM or document object model. Let us look at the practical implementation of Ajax. This is an HTML program where we are using a form tag which has an input button. A button is used to trigger an action. This button when clicked calls a user defined function send request. Send request is a JavaScript function which we will see in the next slide. The HTML program also has a div tag which is used with the ID as a response output and this will eventually populate the response from the server. When the response is received from the server, the response data will be processed and hello will be replaced by the content of the response. We will now see the JavaScript function where we will also be using a JAX object. Send request is a user defined function which will be called when the button is clicked. The very first statement of this function that is on line 7 we are creating an object x HTTP of XML HTTP request. The XML HTTP request is part of the Ajax API. The send request function of the JavaScript will start the asynchronous communication. The first statement of this function that is on line 7 creates an x HTTP object which is instantiated using XML HTTP request object. The next statement that is on line 8 on ready state change is used and assigned to function expression. On ready state change is an event handler which defines a function to be called when the ready state property changes and it is also used to indicate when data becomes available. The function assigned to on ready state change property uses ready state property of the XML HTTP request object. If you look at line 9, we have this dot ready state whose value is assigned 4. The value 4 indicates that the data is completely available. The value of the ready state property is modified once the browser receives the response. We also have status property on the same line. The status property signifies the HTTP status code where if the code is 200 signifies the OK HTTP status code. On line 10, we have a function get element by ID of document object in JavaScript which is used to get or set an HTML element. Inner HTML is used to get or set HTML content of an element. In this case, you have seen a div tag in the HTML document and the ID of the div tag was response output. 
here on line 10 we are retrieving the div element whose id is response output and then using inner html which is used to set or get html content of the element and assigning the response text response text is a property which contains the content received from the server as response we close this function expression which is assigned to on ready state change on line 13 you will find an open method which again belongs to xml http request object and this open method begins the server communication by creating a request to the url specified the get method is used as the first parameter the second parameter of the open method is the url and the third parameter is a flag true or false in this case true means it is asynchronous communication on line 14 we have a send method using this method the request created above is sent send method also belongs to xml http request object of ajax api now if you observe the url used in open method has an ip address and the directory and finally the server side web program current date.php let us now look at the php program this is a simple php program which uses php's date function to retrieve current date and then uses the print function to output the response now let us try to see the output of this program once the html document is called in the web browser you can see that click here is a button created and clicking this button will trigger an event which will call asynchronous communication between the server we have an hello as a text this hello text is created using a div tag and once the click here button is clicked we get the output in this case since we are using current date.php server side program which returns the current date you can find that the current date of the server has been returned and assigned as a value to the diff tag using a simple example we have demonstrated how ajax implementation is done